Brad, spend New Year's with him, and party like rock stars like you've never seen before. I'll see you soon, Brad. <laughs> so we're on our way to the wind. We're gonna check in. Get over to visit my buddy at his office, Light Speed. Right? You excited? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. I have, I have my, I have my laptop on me. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to qualify all your leads. We wanted to get out of the, of the city, but we didn't want to go too far because we want to get back to work. But I brought my, my laptop. My, my stuff here and we're gonna just be, be at Vegas for a couple days then we're gonna come then we're gonna go back Hi bro, later Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, dude, let me ask you a question when we went to look at those houses, and they want, and, and you wanted me to send you a, a, a bank letter. What, what, did, what did you tell the people to allow them? What did you tell them? Huh? Google it. Did it work? <laughs> Have you ever heard of that ever, where you just say googling? Well, I haven't had that uh, request. <laughs> If you have five, if it takes you like so many years to save five million, if it why takes are you saving? Well, I'm, that's what I'm saying. So if you save five million, yeah, but look, dude, it's simple. Let's start when I started Lightspeed, I had zero dollars coming in. Okay, so for about two years, I had very little money. I had to hide my car. I had to freaking eat top ramen. I'd tell my wife I can't give her child support. <laughs> then I got to a point where I had ten thousand a month coming in. Most people would go. Whew, now I can freaking not hide my car and pay child support and live. I didn't. I took the 10000 and I took five of it and I put it over here and hired my buddy. So the goal is to get back to 10000 but now there's two of us to get back to 10000 First, there was one of us to do that. What's easier, two of us or one of us? Two. Right, so when I got back to 10000 twice as fast, I took 5000 and now there's three of us that would get back to 10. Is that faster? Yeah. And then when I got back to 10, I hired another buddy and I just kept staying broke. Most people would come up to here and they'd get comfortable. Yeah. And they'd get, they'd get a new car. Or they'd get a nicer car or a nicer house and all of a sudden their living standards go up and now they're broke Cost making 10 grand. They should have just stayed broke making five grand right. and took the five grand and, and grew and scaled. It's 25,000, you're in the Bradley Mastermind right now. I can tell somebody how to increase their business right now that actually fucking works. Like I can make you more than you're making yourself. How would I do it? I do the exact same shit you're doing, just more of it. Well, it's not rocket science, it's just growing your army. Yeah. It's growing your army or it's making your army work harder again. And you like, gotta, and you, like you don't you don't go down and say how many people did you talk to today? Do you? To our, our staff or our sales people? Whoever's making you money. So no, we, we, we just we just like started. if you're making me money and I wanna know what you're and I wanna make more, I say, how many people are you talking to? And you go, I don't know. And I go, start counting. Month goes by, I go, how many people did you talk to? You said I talked to th about 30 people. So you're talking to one person a day, you'd be like, yeah, basically. I mean, sometimes two and then the next day none, but yeah, 30 on average. I'd say, okay, next month, Albert, you need to talk to six. And you're going to go, ooh, I'd love to work extra hours. That's right. You got that right shit, bitch. <laughs> and then the next month, you'd say, okay, I talked to 60. And I'd say, did you make any more money? And you're going to go, yeah. And I'm going to go, son of a bitch, look at that. Just work. Magic. And then I'm going to say, now, guess what? Talk to 80. And then eventually, you're going you're gonna to calf out because, you know, you can't work every second. Yeah. So once you're capped, now I'm gonna get you better. Actually, I'd do it while while you're talking more. Now I'm gonna get you better. So now that you're talking to 80 people, but you're way better, so you're making more from the 80 you're talking to, then you're capped. Let's say you're as good as you're gonna get and you're, and you're working as hard as you can work. You're, you're limited. 
why don't I hire someone else and stick, stick them right next to you and repeat the process. And that's why I can always make everybody in any company more money. I don't care if you're a landscaper, I don't care if you're a furniture store, I don't care what you do. If you sell popcorn, I'll fucking double your business. How? Do more. There's three things all billionaires and successful people understand. First principle is never tell anyone everything you know. You know what I say we ought to do, dude? We ought to save this for a drop and bomb episode. Let's go film a drop and bomb episode. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go, kids. Come on, man. Just uh, here in Vegas to spend the New Year's. Um, I always wanted to be here for New Year's in Vegas. Never been here for New Year's. Well, it's a madhouse, my man. It's straight madhouse. Let's go back to the origination of the podcast and let's ask Albert Preciado, are you having any problems, son? Well, last year, uh, 2018 was 2017 was the best year ever for, for the mortgage guy. Uh, 2017, we only had one office, and last year we ended up with uh, four offices. Yeah, it's confidence. It gives you confidence. That's why confidence is really important. See, folks? while you're out there paying attention. The more hands you shake, the more money you make. What would you rather do, feel the awkwardness of introducing yourself randomly to people, or the awkwardness of rolling up to valet in a big old hunk of shit that smells like someone farted? Dude, you have to, you have to it feels good to drop off like in a nice car and, uh, and, and talk to people, but that's, that's one of the things that I had problems with uh, when I was growing up, I was insecure. So you roll up in, a, in the rolls, or you all roll up in one of the Ferraris, don't you get out feeling a little more secure? Even Grant, even Tony Robbins, even anyone. Because they're not, they're looking past the simplicity of it all. You wanna you wanna make more, do more. You wanna you wanna sell more things, talk to more people, that's who buys. How many people have walked up to you out of the blue and introduced themselves? Probably like one percent. Yeah, not many, right? So sometimes you're in the elevator and people are you have a, it's just you and one other person and how many times does the other person just ignore you does that happen to you it's kind of awkward at times well sure but that's why I'm bringing it up because today's episode is about how to scale you your problem or your solution and your you know what you did in 2017 is you scaled the company <laughs> Let's fly, let's fly away.